Hello friends, my name is Agata, but you can know me as Queer Coco and in this beading tutorial I will show you how to uh, make this kind of endings in the bead loom bracelet because I have another tutorial about bead loom bracelet as well and if you want to watch this and learn bead bracelet with me you can just click here or find the link in the description box so actually this is really simple to make and this is really cool for actually summer beads and it's really popular right now so it's uh, good to know how to make this so if you don't already subscribe this channel remember to subscribe this and give me a big thumbs up and when you make this we can go to the materials let's go so all the materials is actually exactly the same like we are using in regular loom uh, beading tutorial of course you can find link in the description but right now uh, as you can see, I just use a simple sequence. Actually, I make uh, colorful squares because I want to teach you uh, the technique, not to show you my skills. So right now I have five of my beads and I think this is actually a good uh, thing to make using uh, an odd, odd count of uh, beads, like five, seven, nine and etc because it looks really really cool and smooth in the end so now i have five of my beads and i need to make them uh, i need to have three so i have three beads on my needle and i make the same move as uh, if i want to sew a regular row but i need to place them in the middle so i have uh, one of my space between the thread here and here there is no bit i only have three bits in the middle but i sew it regularly so my um, needle with my thread are going under and i will go back up like this and i to i need to pull it strong like this so now I repeat this with one bead, I need to catch it and once again I just place it in the middle and I sew it as regular like this and I going from the top like this and right now I need to sew this last bead one more time so I just need to sew him, sew it from the bottom so it's good to actually turn your work and then sew the bead like this and I back like usual something like this and right now to make the rest of the sewing really simple I just need to put all my thread in one row in one this I don't know how to call it in English but you know but you can see like this so all the threads are in one place and right now I just sew only my thread not with bits and I make loop like this and I sew through the this loop and I repeat this like maybe two more time it's actually I want only to my thread to be really tight so like this and one more time like this and of course you repeat this with uh, other end like this so right now I can just take my bracelet from the loom So I just untie the knots from here and from the other end, of course. So when we take off our bracelet from the loom, we need to make braid like this from the thread because it looks much better and it's easier to work with later. So right now I just take my bracelet like this and I make 
simple simple braid the same when you make braid for yourself from your hair or from someone you really like so just make it as long as you need And of course in the end you just secure this with simple knot, just a regular one. And you can cut the rest of the thread. So right now I have my two ends with the braids and I want to make this really cool macrame endings I guess so I need some kind of thread or rope and I am lazy so I will use this uh, from material that I can just melt with fire like this and I cut just a piece of it it's about 30-40 centimeters and right now I just need to take ends of my bracelet and put them like this so this is one end and this is second and I take my thread I use a white one because like this you can see it better you can of course use uh, the same color as the braids or the beads if you want and when I have this white thread under this, so I just take and make a simple knot from the beginning and I tie it. Try not to lose my ends from the bracelet. Okay, and right now I will make just simple flat McCrane knot. So I take my right end of my thread and I place it under the base from my bracelet and then I take my left end and I put it in this side in the top of this thread but I will go under and I need to go through the loop like this. and I need to tie them and right now I repeat this but I side with the left one so the left go goes right here from the top the right one goes from the top of this but under the base and to the loop and I repeat this one or two times more And in the end I just cut the thread out and I just melt it to secure all of my bracelet from the both ends. Thank you. 
And this is it, this is all, my bracelet is done. As you can see, this kind of endings with in bit long bracelet, it's really easy to make and it's really cool for a bracelet uh, for your kids or for summer projects. It's really easy to make and it's really cheap because if you will use a regular kind of endings, you need to yeah have some money. So remember, subscribe to this channel if you don't already did this and give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to learn something more about uh, loom bracelet or anything about seed beads, of course, with me, write in this comment section what kind of next beading tutorial I need to make for you. Yeah. For you, yes. So, see you next time, my friends. Bye!